Good morning, everyone. Happy Lord's Day to you and also a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. It is Sunday and we are um, continuing continuing with our daily devotion and prayer time. So thank you for joining us today. We're in Daniel chapter three and we are beginning the reading of a section of Daniel that is just filled with incredible stories that we have been taught um, as children and as adults. And there is so much truth and so much um, deep meaning in many of these stories. So I pray that as we read these over the next days and weeks that you will just be drawn in by the word of God and be truly captivated by, by the things that we, that we see take place. So Daniel chapter three, beginning at verse one, King Nebuchadnezzar made a gold statue 90 feet tall and nine feet wide. And it's set up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then he sent message, messages to the high officers, officials, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the provincial officials to come to the dedication of the statue he had set up. So all these officials came and stood before the statue King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald shouted out, people of all races and nations and language, languages, listen to the king's command. When you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, pipes, and other musical instruments. Bow to the ground to worship King, King Nebuchadnezzar's gold statue. Anyone who refuses to obey will be immediately thrown into a blazing furnace. We'll stop there. Um, and we obviously, if you've been around scripture at all, you're familiar with the story of the gold statue and the, the fiery furnace. Um, just a couple of things this morning that I would like to point out. It was just one chapter for us ago that Nebuchadnezzar had his dream told to him by Daniel, interpreted by Daniel, and, and um, Nebuchadnezzar threw himself before Daniel and worshiped him and proclaimed that the God of Daniel was the God, the greatest of all gods, the God of the universe, and proclaimed that he, he would be worshipped. And then just we, we turn the page and in Daniel chapter three, we see Nebuchadnezzar building a statue, an idol, if you will, for people to bow down to and worship. So in one breath, he's praising the God of heaven. In the next breath, he's telling people, you must worship this statue, this idol built to me, dedicated to me. You must bow down and worship. What caused the, the flip-flop here? What, what caused the change? Well, I think it could be said that it's uh, human nature. That's how we are. We say one thing. We're positive about it. We're convinced about it. We're convicted to it. <clears throat> and then a strange wind comes and we change our opinion. We change how we feel about things. Um, there's a real danger in that. There's a real danger in, in not being committed to what you say you believe and what you're going to stick to. So, I guess it's a warning this morning to be careful, to make sure your, your decisions are well thought out and that you are sure that you can withstand the pressure that may come your way. Quickly, the, the second thing that I would point out is um, the fact that the king required everyone to bow to this idol. My question for you this morning is, what idols in your world and my world today are we bowing to? Oh, we may say, no, I don't have a, 
90 foot tall and nine foot wide statue that I am uh, bowing to. But you know, there are ways in this world that we develop idols and we don't even know it. So our takeaway this morning is, is twofold. Um, and, and they're both challenges on this Lord's Day is to make sure that our our yes is yes and our no is no and what we say we believe we actually stick to it and the second thing the second challenge would be that we not bow to any idols that we not bow to anything that we have no other gods before the one true god two tough challenges but by the power of the holy spirit living in us we can meet these challenges head on and withstand them. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the continued stories from the book of Daniel and, and how we are touched by them. Father, help us truly today to um, let our word be our word, stick to it, not waver in what we believe. And, and Father, finally, um, may we not bow to the idols, idols of this world. May you be our one true God and you be the one that we are committed and devoted to. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock at West Shore for worship on this Father's Day. Um, kids, bring your dad. Dad, bring your kids. Um, we'll have a special backdrop set up for some Father's Day photos. Um, I know dads aren't true, too much into that, but it's a good thing. So we'll see you at 11. And until then, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.